Welcome to Behind the Badge with your hosts, Lieutenant Ryan Williams and Officer Cammie Vandermullen, your source for all things Bonnie Police. It's KFYZ today on a Friday. That means Behind the Badge, our weekly visit with the Fond du Lac Police Department. Flying solo, this hasn't happened in a while, I don't think so. Lieutenant Ryan Williams, usually you've, you've got somebody in studio and I was just thinking about this. Or though is she over in Europe right now? So we don't think we've seen Cammie since she was on there with her twin sister and they were talking about her pending retirement. Yeah, no, she's uh, back at the station. We actually, uh, she's been coordinating, we're, we're hosting a female shooters in law enforcement class, which is kind of an interesting concept. Um, but what we found through um, our kind of just trainings and stuff like that, that female shooters have some different struggles than uh, than male shooters would because um, we're just we're just usually you know generally two different types of animals and sure. um, there is a instructor that we brought in and it's uh it's, it's it's people it's not just our jurisdiction it's not it's other jurisdictions coming in for this training and this instructor that we brought in from it's called Luca Tactical is amazing and. Uh, um, we had her come in uh, probably about eight years ago, and she did two days with our female officers, um, and then she did a day with uh, firearm instructors, which would include me. And um, I was I was kind of saying like, ah, uh, this advertisement's not great. This is not a female shooters class. This is an all shooters class, because I learned so much as a firearms instructor from this instruct this this teacher that. Uh, that uh, we, we still incorporate her trainings in a lot of our in-services today. In fact, so she was at our range yesterday uh, doing a class and I stopped over to check in and I noticed uh, that there was some, some of our old targets still up and I said, hey, did you look down range? Did you see some of them targets? She goes, yeah. I said, those look pretty familiar, don't they? She goes, yeah. Like, there we're still at the targets from some of the drills that uh, she showed us eight years ago that are still in practice today. and. Uh, just really good things to, to kind of like diagnose your shooting techniques and stuff like that. And um, and yeah, we still use them. I throw away something that's good. So it, it's a good class. We've got uh, different agencies here. So people might see like Winnebago County car around here, uh, Fitchburg, uh, I can't remember them all, but they're all out there um, doing the class. So, and I can't, he's kind of like helping put it on. So that's very cool. What, what are some of the things that she's looking at or giving you tips on, pointers on? Are you able to share any of that? Well, yeah. Um, the, the, the shooting drills themselves are great, but there's a, a lot of times um, female shooters, um, how they process things like like mentally is different than, than male shooters. And like I said, this is generally like everyone's um, that different. So um, there's, a, there's a lot of intimidation factor uh, when you have to qualify with your handgun next to a, like a SWAT operator that's, you know, lights out all the time. And there are some things you can do to counteract that. Like um, one of the things that she talks about is doing like, like um, drills like that are like challenges, like competitions, but like having team team competitions. So you might have a SWAT guy on a team with just a normal officer and, and so on and so forth. And things that you probably wouldn't think of as a big deal, but it is a big deal. And it still, it lets them participate, but they still feel like they're part of like a winning team. And it, it kind of helps with that mental mindset. And uh, she kind of teaches, um, uh, she does some 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 funnier techniques. Like one of the things that um, I know she does is she has um, the shooters come in and they name their guns. Oh, nice. So they give their guns names. But you know it sounds kind of funny. But what it does, it kind of takes that intimidation factor away sure. from you know not everyone's familiar with firearms or use them as, as often, and we do get officers like that. And it, it just kind of takes that that uh, that intimidation factor off of firearms handling and you know it's more reps and they're amazing drills like i said just amazing drills so it's awesome great that she's here to, to help out cool events are our main topic here today coming up next week an annual event here in the community national night out yeah and it, what a big deal this has gotten to be because yes. i i've been here a long time uh, unfortunately unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> I remember when it was just like, you know, a couple stands in a park, I think. But, just uh, you guys, right? Yeah, yeah it was just kind of us. Maybe the, maybe yeah. the fire park okay. was always there, and it got big. And I think one of the people um, that was kind of, well, two people were kind of responsible for it growing. Um, 
Uh, now Lieutenant Steve Olson, I think everybody knows him as the singing cow. Singing cow boy. And uh, Lieutenant, now Lieutenant um, Eric Foster, who was our community service officer, um, he, uh, they kind of took it to that next level. And so it's blown up really big. And uh, right now, school resource officer, uh, Sandra O'Donnell and um, our mental health specialist, Brooke Mathis, have kind of taken on the reins of it. Um, it's a big animal. We worked with the uh, Boys and Girls Club and a couple other local things to make it just a great event. There's always so much to do there now. And uh, I think every year they add something. So I don't know if they're gonna have to like get some more room eventually or, or what. But um, one of the biggest, I think, draws has always been the mascot race. And I've heard about it. Kind of a point of contention because heard about that. there was, uh, you know, there's possibly from the radio station that I'm sitting in, uh, you know, maybe a possible early start by one of the mascots. Um, Sadly, I'm not surprised. Yes. Uh, so, um, but uh, that will be going on again. But what I think, the, I think the, the cool new thing this year, we've done it in the past where we've had dunk tanks. Um, and I actually sat in a dunk tank before, which was a miserable experience. I'm going to say that right now. <laughs> like, it was fun, like the first five. And then, you know, you look at the line and there was like 50 people in the oh, line gosh. and just can. That's I good. was very sore the next day. That's going down in the water and back up a lot. Yeah. So now we have a celebrity, local celebrities one. So um, our rumors are that our chief is going to get in there. The fire chief is going to get in that dunk tank. Um, and a couple other people from around the community will be in there. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun. I just, if nothing else, just to watch um, those, those community leaders uh, get dunked down. Uh, uh, that would be some some good photography moments as well. So definitely would. Of course, all takes place at the fairgrounds park, right? Um, yeah. Yep. The fairgrounds park. Uh, they got bouncy houses, face painting. Um, there's gonna be food vendor vendors out there. A lot of free stuff and just um, you know a lot of nonprofits set up booths, right? I guess you want to call it a booth or a tent. And like yeah. You said they've got information about their organizations swag different things that they can give away all free for families and they give away uh two bikes every year really um, okay. yeah so there's i think uh when you get there you just you go register um and you have a chance to win a bike for free uh, for kids not for adults um which is it's, it's it's generally geared towards the kids events but there's something for everybody to do uh you know fire department's always there like i said the other vendors um sheriff's department like everything and you know it's national night out like it, the cool thing is, it's, it's kind of like like a take back the night type of thing where this isn't just happening in Fond du Lac. Like a lot of other jurisdictions are having some sort of activity that same night. So you're kind of a part of something even bigger, even though it will just be celebrated yeah, here. But um, it's kind of just a big, huge event to, to kind of show, you know, like that we can do fun things. It's a good time to interact with the police officers, get a face with the name. Um, so we're, we're expecting a good turnout. Um, it's on August 6th, uh, and it's from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m., as we said, at the Fairgrounds Park. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll see a good turnout, as always. What do you enjoy about getting those opportunities to be with the public in, in a setting, right, where you're not doing police work, per se, but you just get to actually have normal conversations? Well, you know, my experience is a little bit different because I've had a couple of different roles. So like being a school resource officer, being a canine officer, I have a lot of different, like, different um, interactions with community members. So with my kids, I get to see them growing up and like, I get to like, so oh, sure. I call yeah. my kids, my school resource ops when I was a kid, like, so I get to do like those check-ins and they'll recognize me and come up to me and kind of find out like what's going on because you're kind of like a parent for those kids for, you know, a couple of years and then they move on and you hope hope nothing but good things happen on the past. So, the, so that's that's that. Some people recognize me from uh, you know being involved in the shooting incident, and some people recognize me from the canine. So a lot of different just um, talks. Uh, um, I actually got recognized uh, the other day at Walmart um, by a, a different source, which maybe could be a future show, by the way. Um, one of the runners of uh, the scanner, one of the scanner pages in town, oh, wow. um, recognized me and uh, introduced uh, herself and stuff like that. So. We have, someday we might have to get them on uh, the show and talk about the scanner pages and stuff. So idea for a future show. You didn't say anybody recognized you from the radio, though. I mean, I guess they probably need to hear you talk, right? They yeah, just, maybe. They can't see you on the radio. I if they, do. If they, if they watch you on YouTube, I mean, you guys put these videos up on your uh, 
I do hear about a lot of people that listen to the show. So, um, so we do have we do have people listening out there that more than just my mom. So it's just more yeah, than my mom's listening. Um, you know, I, I, it's yeah, it's it's good. So it's a good source of information for for those that listen, and you know, those that are listening now, uh, tell your friends about the show. And uh, if you miss it, you can watch it on YouTube. Awesome. Once again, uh, location details time for national. So Canada. August sixth. Uh, uh, 4 o'clock to 7 o'clock at the fairgrounds park right over by the uh, swimming pool. I do have one more thing. Yeah, you got uh, So what's coming up soon? Um, we did the photo shoot for it, but we are in the police department is taking part in a challenge and what it is It's uh, for the police lights of Christmas fundraiser. It's a uh, it's a uh, uh, police, I think it's uh, through the state of Wisconsin, but uh, basically raise money for Christmas lights to bring happiness uh, to people. And uh, they usually do a photo contest, and we participated in, in uh, years past and stuff like that. Uh, this year they did a movie theme, so we had to recreate a scene from uh, a movie. And uh, they had, like, Oshkosh, they did Wizard of Osh, um, and uh, like, uh, Wausau they did instead of like the Avengers the protectors they had like a graphic designer help with there so theirs looks really really nice so of all the movies we chose um Cammy and I I don't know we got this idea and it's kind of got wheels is we did Napoleon Dynamite oh boy <laughs> so we had a lot of fun shooting this thing um and I think there's going to be there's going to be like a vote coming up on okay, that. Yeah. So whether you like it or not, you know, show that Fondy pride yeah, and yeah. give us a vote. We don't have a graphic designer. So we did the best we could with the materials that we had. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm playing, uh, have you seen Napoleon Dynamite? Yes. I'm playing the uh, Rex Quando character. I can um, see that. Yeah, we have uh, Eric Foster being Napoleon. And uh, uh, we have the whole cast. Of, and we actually... <laughs> Poor, uh, poor Jesus, our canine, uh, we dressed him, he put a llama hat on. Oh, goodness. So we had to make the llama, <laughs> or Tina, um, in there. So uh, there's a lot of little uh, little Easter eggs. We'll talk about that in the, the making of video that we're going to be coming out with. But uh, we're going to be looking for votes, I think, so that we can get up there in contention. But um, like I said, not, not the highest video production, but I think there's a lot of little things. If you look at the photo, where you can look at it and kind of just give yourself a chuckle. Is this out there already or not out there yet? It's coming, okay. coming soon. Okay, all right. So we'll let you know when that is. When that's the, out. the one thing I forgot to mention that is out there is our promotional video for National, National Night Out. Yeah, yeah. So you haven't seen it. I haven't though. So you're gonna have to check it out. Um, I don't know. It was just an off day for me or something, but uh, <laughs> I decided to act like an explorer and uh, explore the fairgrounds and talk about um, oh, the. My. Uh, it, it, you've got to see it. Uh, you can check out. It's on our Facebook page. It's also on our um, YouTube page. Um, and uh, it's it's bizarre. I have some weird accent. I'm not sure where the accent's from, but I think it's rather comical as well. So like, uh, it was it was a good time to shoot it, and uh, it was it, it turned out pretty well. As soon as we're done, I'm gonna check it out. Hiring process coming up. Who you wanted to hit on before we go? Oh yeah, um, August 21st. We just announced this. So. Uh, we're just getting the word out August 21st. We'd like to get some time before the next Academy, which starts in January. Um, so they got some got some time to get them off the backgrounds on and all that stuff. So August 21st, uh, it's weird to say, but you really right now only have four open spots. So get in now while you can. Um, and uh, and uh, like I said, we're a young department, very promising and uh, a great department to work for. And we talk about it on here often, so. We definitely do. He's Lieutenant Ryan Williams, behind the badge, KFIZ2.